hi welcome back in this lesson we are going to look at three dimensional geometry in particular we are going to look at intersection of two lines in 3d space this kind of mathematics are very important in designing games in 3d space in the in the early stages to develop the concept of depth let's see how the maths can help there in this case we have two lines first one is this one and the second one is given here where these equations consist of a unknown value a here and we have to find the value of a equation 1 is x minus 2 over 3 equal to y minus 1 over 2 equal to z plus 3 over 5 this is the first equation second equation is x minus 4 over 2 equal to y minus a over 3 equal to z a is the unknown so if these two lines intersect what is the value of a to solve this problem there are two methods let's see the first method method one if the lines intersect they should be coplanar lines it's a very basic principle in 3d geometry if the lines doesn't intersect they will they will be in two different planes only condition is that if they are parallel but if they are not parallel then they should intersect if if they intersect they should be in a in a single plane coplanar lines so the condition of coplanar lines uh, for two lines in this case we define an equation of a line like this x minus a over l equal to y minus b over m equal to z minus c over n in the second line with dashes and then the condition for coplanar uh, the condition of the two lines to become coplanar a minus a dash b minus b dash c minus c dash L M N L dash M dash N dash the, the determinant of this should be equal to zero. So now we have this equation, the condition for coplanar lines, and then we have our lines where x minus two over three, y minus one over two, is it plus three over five? Line one. We know A, B, C, L, M, N, A dash, B dash, and the third one, Z, is in a different form. So what we do here is we added Z minus 0 divided by 1. Same Z, but we wanted to make it like A dash, B dash, C dash, L dash, M dash, N dash. So in this case, A dash equal to 4 b dash equal to a c dash equal to 0 please don't confuse this a is different from the a that what we got in the previous equation this is an unknown a given in the question so now the condition of the two lines to become coplanar again we use the equation a minus a dash 2 minus 4 b minus b dash 1 minus a c minus c dash in this case z plus 3 therefore this should be minus 3 minus 0 l m n 3 2 5 l dash m dash n dash 2 3 1 so now we try to evaluate this determinant uh, 2 minus uh, 4 is minus 2 times 2 minus 15 2 minus 15 minus 1 minus a the first one is positive but this since this is minus 2 you got minus 2 here but second one my when you multiply by 1 minus a take negative 1 minus a and then you get rid of this line cross multiply this one and cross multiply this one and when you do this way it is positive when you do this way it is negative 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 times 5 is 10 plus 
minus 3 because this is minus 3 got a minus 3 otherwise this is positive so it is minus 3 and the line you uh, get it off is this line therefore 3 times 3 9 minus 2 times 2 4 9 minus 4 if I go back to the first one again 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and then you get rid of this line and do the cross product 2 plus 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3 times 5 is 15 so now we simplify this equation these all numbers and what we get here is 26 plus 7 th minus 13 times 2 26 and then this will be minus a 7a uh, this will become minus 7 times one, minus 1 is plus 7 and minus 7 plus uh, plus a is minus 7a and this is 5 times 3 15 minus 15 and the condition here is that it should be equal to 0 so if this is equal to 0 we can find the value of a we take 7 into one side we get 16 in the other side 16 divided by 7 is the final answer that is by using the first method so there's a second method uh, in which it says that if the lines intersect then the minimum distance between the two lines should be 0 our first method was if the lines intersect they should lie in the same plane therefore it's called coplanar lines it's method 1 but method 2 is straightforward again if the lines intersect then the minimum distance between the two lines should be 0 in three dimensional geometry there is a definition for the minimum distance if the lines are given in vector form so if the given two lines in 3d space in vector form are uh, l1 r equal to a plus lambda b this is the form met for a line in 3d space in any space we can be a can be a three-dimensional vector b can be a three-dimensional vector for 3d space r equal to c plus bd it's the line two so if we if you have these two lines then the minimum distance between these two lines can be given by this equation a minus c a minus c dot product b cross d b cross d cross product divide by the modulus of b cross d this is the modulus again and then finally it will give a number so now what we are going to do here is to calculate the minimum distance of the two lines that we have this is the first line this is the second line and before we are going to apply that equation we need to convert these two equations into vector form so how do you convert so we need to get two lines l1 and l2 out of these two lines equations so what we do here is get the first one l1 r equal to 2i 2i plus j this is plus 3 become minus 3k so the coefficient of i j k are here 2 1 minus 3 2 1 minus 3 plus lambda times 3 2 5 3i plus 2j plus 5k similarly for line 2 we have 4a and for z you have 0 therefore 4i plus aj plus 0k so we don't have to write k here plus mu times 2i plus 3j plus 1k these are the two equations in vector form now we can simply apply the equations given that is the minimum distance equation is this one but still we need to calculate the value of a minus c out of these two vectors so a plus lambda b plus uh, that is a plus lambda b is the first line b uh, c plus lambda, mu d is the second line so first we'll calculate b cross d b and d are here so b cross d can be calculated by this map this determinant equation ijk three two five two three one two 
3, 1. This is B, 3, 2, 5. This is D, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. So when you do the cross product again, I times 2 minus 15 minus J. So again, you can note here, minus J times 3, you take neglect this line, and 3 times 1 is 3 minus 10 plus K times 9 minus 4. After simplification, we get minus 13i plus 7j plus 5k. So it's p cos t. And now we need to calculate a minus c, which is the subtraction. Okay, subtract this c from a. 2 minus 4 minus 2i, 1 minus a, 1 minus a times j. And this is simply minus 3, nothing to sub subtract there, minus 3k. So now we have b cross t and a minus c. Now it is our objective is to apply this in this equation of minimum distance. So what we need to do is a minus c and b cross t dot product. b cross t is this one, a minus c is this one. So what we got from the earlier slide. And now we need to calculate dot product of these two. A minus C times B cross D. Just multiply the coefficients. Uh, because when you take the cross product, this become 1. So the vectors will go off. Minus 2 times 12, 13. Uh, minus 2 times minus 13. I think minus 13 times minus 2. 7 times 1 minus a, 5 times minus 3. So after simplification, you can see 26, uh, 26 plus 7 minus 7a minus 15, which is equal to 16 minus 7a. Now again, according to definition, the minimum distance should be equal to 0 if the lines are intersecting. So if the lines intersect, the shortest distance should be equal to 0. So hence 0 equal to 16 minus 7a, which will eventually give us the value a equal to 16 over 7. This is the answer that we got in the previous method also. a equal to 16 over 7. So that concludes the intersection of two lines in 3D space.